Hey guys, Mary JM. So, I was trying to explain to somebody earlier about chronic fatigue syndrome. <clears throat> and again, I've only had it for like maybe the past three months. I've actually had it probably the past year and three months. But again, the doctors thought it was medication that was making me tired all the time, or it was, um, the loss of my cat or other things but then it just kept getting worse and worse and now it's even getting worse and worse again <laughs> which is kind of sad but um it is getting a lot more difficult to get out like i literally just got home so that's why i, I rewarded myself with the coffee and a big all because i knew i was hungry but on the way home i kind of threw up outside so that was kind of gross I didn't want to record that but even though like I keep saying your insides are also tired so people don't realize they think oh chronic fatigue syndrome that just means they're tired all the time but it's not just that you're tired it's also your insides are tired and you're tired so even like right now because uh a cashier was telling me oh you look so tired I'm like I'm so tired <laughs> I'm beyond tired um, like my eyes, even like right now, they're like just so tired. And when, the best way to describe it now that I've had it for a while now, I could say that your insides are tired, so it's hard to eat. And when, then when you do eat, like I ate the bagel, so then on the way home, I kind of threw it up, um, which is gross, but it is what it is, but at least I ate kind of eat something and no matter how much coffee you have it's still not going to help you stay awake like I'm barely uh helping myself s stay straight right now my head's like just leaning forward so I have my hands on my forehead to keep me up it's just dreadful sometimes and like my eyes like the best, that's why I was telling her that the best way to describe it is like, uh, when you feel blurry, when you see a blur, when you everything's like a blur, especially when you get to this point where you're so tired, but you can't sleep because you're too, because your, your mind's tired, but your body is not tired, so it's kind of hard to sleep sometimes, or you have to get home so you can't sleep. But, like, right now, I can't even focus. My eyes are just, like, going everywhere. <laughs> it's just weird. And that's why I laugh. Because I can't control it. And it terrifies me sometimes. Especially going home. Because I'm like, am I going to make it home this time? So that's why I was saying it's really <laughs> difficult to even get out to, like, go shopping and stuff. Like, I just did. But I prefer to do my own shop because I know, like, where all the good deals are. And I got a lot of good deals today. But I think pretty soon I'm going to have to just keep doing instant cart. Because it's just getting more and more difficult to get out. And, like, before I used to go shopping when I do my doctor's appointments. But then if I do everything at once, I just get to this point where I'm just like, oh, I can't even keep my head up. It's, a, it's pretty bad, so... But I'm going to try and take the cats out because um, they need to get some fresh air and exercise too. And that's why I go out is because I need to get exercise. But even just going like, I'm like, oh, I got to go, I got to go to Bilo or I got to go to the store. But it's like a block and a half away. I'm like, I don't want to walk <laughs> it's too far. So I actually got on the bus to go up to 45th rather than walking two, two blocks. So I was just too, so exhausted, so tired. But that's why I keep telling people, if it wasn't for YouTube right now, I'd probably literally just sleep all day. So I am very thankful for YouTube. Even if there's like only one person that watches, that's fine because I know one person gets it or I'm helping one person and I know, like, a lot of people who are watching that are subscribers, they all tell me they have disabilities and conditions and 
issues too, but people don't get it. And even though, like I keep saying, my unknown chicken condition at the beginning, when my dad saw it, he still didn't get it. <laughs> I'm like, I'm shaking right in front of you and you still don't get it. And he's like, or he just forgets about it. So it's like, I keep telling him to watch my YouTube, but then he's like, oh, it's too depressing. <laughs> but that's the whole point. Then you could see what my life is like, but he's old, so <laughs> I was just like, now that I've had it for quite a while now, I could like kind of explain it a little more before I couldn't. So it's, it's still very new to me having this chronic fatigue syndrome. But the unknown chicken condition is actually worse than the, than the chronic fatigue syndrome because I can't uh, hold like even a cup to drink, so that's really weird. But half the time I feel like dizzy and everything was just a blur. And that's why I ended up, like yesterday, I ended up hitting my head on the wall. It's kind of gone now. But I can't even put my makeup on some days. Like today, I was going to put my makeup on. I was just too exhausted. Like, I got to get out of the house. Otherwise, I'm just going to fall asleep. So, I did get some really good vegetables and some good deals, though. But, yeah, it's just weird, though. Because talking to people, they're like, oh, you look so tired. And, and then I tell them I have chronic fatigue syndrome. And then I have to explain it to them. So, now I'm like, now I kind of explain it to you guys. And other people, but it's basically everything was just a blur. And I barely made it home, but I did. I had to take a lot of stops coming home, walking home, just because I was so tired. But yeah, I'm not going to go for a while. Not At least not till Monday when I, and I'm just going to get my medication and drop off the medication and stuff. But I find that at least if I sleep for six hours, every six hours, then I'm fine. So it's not that bad because I've learned how to... Because people are like, well, sometimes you're up all night cleaning. And I'm like, yeah, but I had to sleep six hours to do that. And I had to do that right away. And then I crash. And I like same with laundry. And when I say family, as soon as I wake up, I have to go see them. Otherwise, four hours later, I'm going to be out. And there's just no, no way, so. Uh, so I'm like, at, at least I could uh, still do stuff even though I have to sleep every six hours. So that's the only downfall. But I do want to show you guys what I got because I got some really good deals. But I think after this, I'm just going to do instant cart because it's just so difficult going out. Like even now, I just can't even see straight. Just everything's a blur. And it's been like that pretty much all day when I woke up. So, yeah, unfortunately it's just the way it is. And I try to eat and then I throw up. Or I spit up my food. So, like, I've shown it once on camera. But I don't want to keep showing it on camera because it's really gross and disgusting. <laughs> I don't like it at all. So, it's like, what? Well, that stuff I can't really show, but... Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just one more thing I have to live with. <laughs> and then on top of it, I have all this other stuff that I have to deal with. So that's why I'm like, I'd rather just be at home and then just do what I can when I'm at home. Like, I could barely even watch TV half the time. Even when I watch YouTube, that's only like maybe 10, 15 minutes at a time. So, yeah, it's... It's exhausting, but like I said, uh, I know two people who have chronic fatigue syndrome, and they're just like me. They could barely get out of bed. They could barely do anything, but we still push ourselves but to a limit. So, yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just sadly, it's just the way it is, but at least life is never boring because we're always behind and we always have to catch up. And like I keep saying, as long as I'm not living in a hospital, I'm fine because I've been there I, and I hated it. <laughs> so, 
And that's why I do YouTube, because not only does it help you guys, but it also helps me, and it's also a good stress relief, in a way, to be able to, like, say all this stuff, and then I could show it to my doctors, too, because they're all like, oh, what does it feel like, what is, how do you look when you're tired, like, I showed when I was walking, funny, that's literally how I was on the way home today, and it's just like, yeah, just... Some days are better than others, some days aren't, but literally it's just like you're just going through life day by day, pretty much, and having conditions, that's what it's like, unfortunately, but some people do recover from it, but I'm okay, I'm happy with my cats. Josephine's still on the bed, I don't know if you can see her there, because it's so dark and speckles is there, so I'm going to show you guys what I got. My eyes are so red right now. And that's not from allergies. That's from being so tired, even though I slept. So. And I had a cup of coffee. I had a small one. Still tired, so. Yeah. <clears throat> but whenever I feel down, I just keep remembering the Whitney Houston, Whitney Houston song. I didn't know my own strength. That song really helps me. Through the darkness days and the best of yet to come and different songs. So I find that those really help me. But sadly, uh, not doing too many videos tonight. I really want to draw because I got my markers here. I just bought these like a week or two ago. I still haven't been able to draw with them. So hopefully next time I wake up. Um, I do have to cook though eventually because I bought some more stuff. So I do want to, and I enjoy cooking. Like I said, that's why I'm doing more and more cooking videos because for me it's a stress relief and I enjoy eating even though I can't sometimes. Like right after I put it, show you guys what I bought. I'm pretty much just going to take the cats outside and then call it a night go straight to bed. I'm not even going to eat or watch TV. I'm just going to go to bed. <laughs> I'm just so tired. So, so, so tired. I've been up since 3 o'clock? Yeah, 3 o'clock. So it's now what time is it? It's not 8.30. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, so it's been about 6 hours. Right now I'm really pushing myself. But like I said, I think I gotta smoke anyways, so I might as well take the cats outside. And I'm gonna show you guys what I got first, so um, stay forward for that. And yeah, just remember if you are uh, can't get out and you get out, reward yourself because that's gonna help you, encourage you to get out. And every time. I clean or I do something, that's me, I reward myself with food and sleep, <laughs> so that's why I take a nap, but, yeah, I don't know, I'm just finding it extremely challenging a lot more now than the past few months, but, um, I don't even know how I'm going to keep up with all these appointments that I have to do next week, even... Monday, I'm planning on getting up just to make all these appointments for the upcoming month, but just going up to Fraser is hard. That's like maybe 45 minutes away from me, <laughs> so it's like, oh, and I didn't body pop, so I am cutting down. It's also because we didn't have any cheap pop, but yeah, it's just... My head is like pounding right now. It's crazy. But I'm going to upload this video. Um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys could even tell by my eyes. It's just, it's just so hard to focus. Um, sadly, it's the way it is. But I'm still standing. I'm still here and I'm not giving up. So... Like, comment, share, subscribe. Welcome to my haunted world. XOXOG. Upload.